California has amazed us yet again. Yet again. We got out of the car and we're like, man, it just smells like nature. What, what am I looking at? The redwoods are crazy. What's up, Bee Nation? Today, we are going to get into nature. This morning, we left San Francisco like way too early. The sun wasn't even up by the time we were leaving. We crossed the Golden Gate Bridge. It was absolutely beautiful as the sun was rising. But we are heading to the Redwood Forest. So we are going up the coast of California to the Redwood Forest, and we are so excited. My car is as full as it possibly can be once again. We put our whole life into this tiny little car. It's a beautiful morning, and so it just feels so right to be like out on the highway, all packed up, heading onto something new. Zach's very excited for the Redwood Forest, so this is very exciting for me to see how excited he is today. We've got breakfast and our coffee, and we are ready to go. All right, now we are halfway in between San Francisco and our first stop on the Redwood Forest. When I originally looked at the map, I saw Eureka, and then above that it says Redwood National Park and Forest, and that's where I remembered going with my family last time I did this. But I just got off the phone with my mom and she informed me that we actually went to the Redwood Forest that was south of that, because there's just a bunch of different Redwood groves. There's actually groves in the city of San Francisco where we were just in. So they're like all over the state of California, but we're going to find the oldest trees in the state that are apparently over 2,000 years old. So we made it to the Avenue of Giants and we are slowly making our way and I'm like looking up at all the trees and just like admiring all of them. And there's ones that are like downed and they're just so thick and I'm like, Zach, we made it, we made it, we have to get out, we have to start vlogging, we have to like show the people. And he's like, you don't, I know you don't know, but these aren't even them. <laughs> you guys, and we made it to the Founders Grove. Apparently this is one of the groves with the tallest trees. There's like 137 million groves, I don't even know. Apparently redwoods grow in clusters. Wait, are you serious about 137 million? No. I oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, there are. I think that was like a statistic. You that's just a statistic. Like, yeah. I mean, like they're actually found they're all somewhere. over. Yeah. Yeah. They're okay. all over the There's state just of California. A lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's insane. <laughs> I mean, that's how many there. And here's the founder's tree. Wow. Wow. 346 feet. 12 feet long. It's two of you wide. It's two of me wide. Two of you wide. Probably at the base. Circumference of 40 feet. Height to lower limb. 190. That's crazy how it doesn't have lower limbs. Yeah. And they put this like wooden boardwalk down because apparently if you reveal the tallest tree, then people will go to it. Yeah. And once they go to it, they walk around the base. Oh, I love the spiral. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I guess I've never really appreciated redwood trees before. Yeah. This one's cool. This one's wonky looking. Oh my gosh. Was there a fire in here? What? So this is a big thing about the redwoods, is that they can withstand fires. That's crazy. This whole thing hollowed out and it's still growing. It's kind of creepy. Oh my gosh. I'm in a tree. Wow. This is really incredible. There's something magical about trees. And like when you, when you think of them as actual giants, like this is some of the oldest forested areas like in the United States or like in the world you know like most of the US was logged off a long time ago so these are the oldest trees we have now and it's just it really is like magic like fern gully <gasps> very excited oh it's just so scary I love it just like look how look how big this is just look how look how I fit in it's just so huge Solid tree. We got a new one growing off of it. Yeah, that's cool. Honestly, I like the cool obviously the ones that are alive are like really great. But like the ones that are downed and they have new growth off of them, I think are really cool too. Like even like a little bit cooler. Cause you get to see like everything that's underneath them. I don't know. But it's like a spider. 
spider's web. And that is a redwood. It's like a dinosaur. Honestly. It's like everything is just bigger here. You know, like look at these clovers. They're absolutely massive. <gasps> look who it is. How'd you get up there? This is some James Bond stuff. I know. Wow, wow, wow. I'm tall, it's tall. Come look at this thing right here. This is just really cool. It's like a playground for adults. You know? Like, look at these pieces of lumber, ready to be, oh! She is such a good slipper, guys. I just don't even know. I knew that was gonna happen. They're already in rectangles, just ready to be cut. They're ready to go. <laughs> What's so funny? Look at this from the outside, and there are so many layers to this tree. Like, I don't think this is one of the 2,000 year old ones, but if it's even like 500, that's crazy. Oh, I can feel the history. Yes! Oh. The triple. Oh god. <gasps> Look at this one. Look at this one. This is crazy. <gasps> Honestly, it's kind of like Star Wars. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like Star Wars? In which one? <laughs> uh, the one with the little munchkins. Okay, this is a scene right out of Star Wars. I'm gonna play the clip now. This is what I'm talking about. The starship just wrecked. But it's not on the ground. Look how far this tree is off the ground. I know. This tree's a like tree two is of me. growing in the air from a tree. It's like Star Wars. Honestly, th this is art. I mean, this isn't even nature at this point. Like the way it's split into like a million different two by fours, ready to go to Home Depot, be put on different houses. No. Like, this is crazy. What, what am I looking at? It's suspended. Like, those aren't even held by anything. They're just shooting into the sky like a firework. This is my favorite tree. It's a dead one, but what's going on? I don't even know. How does this happen? Look how small I am. What the heck? Honestly. Because when you're looking up, you can't really see it. Like, you can't really see how tall these are. Like, yeah, they're trees, they're tall, the base is big, but like, you're just looking up. But when it's down like this, that's when you realize how massive these things are. And this one actually knocked down a different tree that went that way that's even bigger than this tree. Whoa! Oh, yeah. I, just, I see this like, bam! That's what? me. That's how I feel right now. This is my tree that fell. This is the other tree it fell on. Look how massive this is. Come in over here. This is big, like three times bigger than the other one. This lush tropical rainforest in California. I know. Ferns growing on ferns, ferns growing on trees. Ferns are my favorite. Really? Yeah. I didn't know Because they're just like so specific to one place in the U.S. and that's where we met and like, oh. you know, it's like we're getting up there into the rainforest. It it's is like really wet here. A PNW. This might be a new favorite. Look, it's just suspended. There is a huge hole in the middle. Like you could fit a whole car through here. And if we go up, it's not dead. It's still growing. It's still a tree, and there's no bottom. It is a thousand years old. This is the Redwoods. Oh my gosh, guys, I just heard a crack. No joke. This is when the trees fall. This is the time of year they fall. It's really wet on the ground. They actually loop together with their roots, and so they're like, okay, we're gonna hold on to each other, and that's why they can be so tall. They don't go down on the ground, they just loop together, but when the wind picks up like it is now, and things start popping, I just don't feel good about it. We did it again, you guys. We have an orange meal. Orange meal. We're having a little snack. We're trying to run down the road and get some pizza, but I don't think we can make it. So, <laughs> having my favorite salsa and sweet potato chips. And carrots and hummus. It's also orange. And cheese is kind of orange. 
And something I didn't say about the redwoods is they catch 40% of the water from fog. It's just, they're so high up in the air, the fog rolls in from the ocean, and that's how they drink. Which is crazy. crazy. All right, and that's it for our lunch. Now we're gonna try and hit the road, but we're going down the road to a dirt road in Leah's little car. So I don't know how muddy this road is gonna be, because like I said before, it's really wet. Yep. Um, but we're gonna see if we can make that on the dirt road to the best grove, in my opinion, in the entire Redwood State National Park System. Let's go. Oh, it's not dirt. It's not. Can you make it down there? It's pretty narrow. It is pretty narrow. My car is the perfect size for this, actually. True. <laughs> Boom, and just like that, made it down the hill. We are now in the Rockefeller Grove. These trees, I don't know how, are bigger than the other ones. They really are. Like, there's more of them, and they're more condensed, and they are all very, very, very big. See why it's my favorite. And it's right next to the river, which apparently flooded in 1964, it was like 20 feet high. And that's why the redwoods love living next to the river, is because when it floods, they get all the nutrients they need to grow for the next thousand years. Yeah. I mean, that's just, it's crazy. This is just, I don't know. This is super cool. Like, I just can't believe these nature. are actually like, Noticeably bigger <laughs> over here. I think it's so cool. Whew, it is a little cold here because the wind keeps rolling in and oh my gosh, right in front of us is a tree that fell. I don't think it's windy enough for the trees to fall right now. It's a little drier on this side. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. But it's cold. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this far north in California. Oh. Like to stop. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. to get out. I know we've driven through northern yeah, California, like but like Mount Shasta. only on the Yeah, like only on the highway. So this is like I don't know. I just, I guess I never realized also that like it really becomes like the Northwest. Yeah. dripping water. It's a tree of life. It's a tree of life. Also, I found a perfectly bright red mushroom that looks really fake, but it is really, really real. It's right there. Do you see it? It just looks so fake. I was like, oh, it's a piece of trash. But no, that is a mushroom. Like, that's so crazy. Guys, welcome yeah. to Jurassic Park. Oh, this is two. Okay, I was, I was gonna say, this is one. This is the biggest tree I have ever seen Whoa. in my life. This has to be two. Yeah, this is, has to be two. They fell together. That's crazy. All one circuit. Da, da, da. It's just like the tree of life though. Like there's ferns, trees. Yeah. We're like standing in ferns. It's all one big cycle, you guys. It's like a bridge. I love that. If, uh, if I was younger, I probably would try to be going over it right now. <laughs> I bet people have tried. I bet people have done it. It looks like there's like a walking path. You're making me want to do it. Yeah, it's just too scary. We're too old, and that water looks pretty cold. It's also kind of shallow. I don't know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of no's in the situation. But yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. Okay, I'm feeling it. It's totally doable. It's flat. It was flat. I love how specifically I said, no, that I'm not gonna get out here. And Zach was like, come on, we can do it. No, it's totally cool. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's not slippery. It's but... a little slippery. Also, I feel like we're swaying. How? Oh. Yeah. This is pretty cool though. Yeah, okay, it was worth it. <laughs> you haven't made it all the way out yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, this is as far as I'm going. Yeah, this has to be the best grove, like, of all time. It's just so enchanted. Okay, I'm going back now because I'm scared. You can do it. Uh, Don't freeze on the mountain. I know, I'm freezing up. Don't freeze up. Honestly, this grove is the best grove we have seen today. We've only seen yeah. two, but the best part about the Redwoods is that there isn't one attraction. So like yeah. other national parks in America, there's just a busload of tourists. That's not a thing here. There's not even parking for that. No, there's definitely not parking here. Yeah. You know, like maybe three spots. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, the kind of like the beauty is, is it's kind of hard to find this place on the map. 
And once you get here, there are so many things and places and parks and groves to see that, yeah, it's not like overcrowded or overrun. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It's really nice. We like have done so much in this grove. I feel like we've been here for hours. We ran out of time. I think the pizza place is closed. We're gonna get another California institution, Dutch Brothers Cafe, which apparently is a California thing. I don't really know. Someone told me about it in the comments and apparently we have to go get coffee there. So there's one in Eureka, let's go. And she's a coffee lady, so that's really her thing. I'm so excited for coffee. Like. <laughs> It's way afternoon. Zach is usually like, stop, don't eat, don't drink caffeine, you're gonna stay up all night. Let's do it. Well, she's gotta drive two more hours, so whatever oh, it yeah. takes, I guess. <laughs> to Eureka, right? We are in Eureka. I'm tired. Are you tired? I'm so tired. Oh we left gosh. San Francisco so early this morning. Like, so early. We woke up at 5 a.m., which is something we never do. So, this, this was very hard, but we have coffee on the mind. Well, she does. I'm just going to continue to suffer because I don't really drink coffee. But. I got a lavender, white chocolate lavender cold brew. And we've never had Dutch Brothers before. Is it a California thing? I think it is. Dutch Brothers. They just came to Texas in my sister's small town of College Station where Texas A&M is and she was like Dutch Brothers and I was like I've totally been there and so it's been on Leah's radar for yeah, a year and a half Yeah, I'm excited now. to try it and this is perfect to be getting coffee because we're so tired. <laughs> we have an hour and a half left to drive. Eureka's like a nice little mountain town. Yeah, it's also by the water though. Well, yeah, I'm saying like coming down from the mountains is how uh, exhausting See, yeah, I'm like what? It's not more than the mountains? <laughs> but we have an hour and a half left to Crescent City, I think that's what it's called. Okay. And that's a mountain town. We can make it. <sighs> What's with this mafia? That's mafia? Hi! Uh, you are doing the white chocolate lavender? Yes. Cobra? Yep. Okay. What are you guys doing from Maryland? We are actually just like, with the pandemic happening, just driving around. <laughs> <laughs> So there's no destination there's no in destination. mind, no fun, we're just like, let's go Everything we own is in this car, and we're just That's driving. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys made it all the way across. Yeah, we How did. How long did it take you? Five days. Oh, you went straight for it. Straight for it. Yeah, for it. Thank you, you so no much. No straps. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Thanks. That is so Funny, that's the same experience I had when I came here. All really? these like women came out of nowhere and they were like, what are you guys doing? And we were like, <laughs> I, it's me and my when? best friend. We've never yeah. been to Dutch Brothers. I don't know. And they were like, okay, whatever you want is free. And we were like, what? what? And they were like, yes. Actually, let's get three drinks. You guys got to try everything. And they just made us whatever they wanted. And that's what I experienced Dutch Brothers. And that's, that's why crazy. I had, I'm like really fond of this brand because it was just you like just that. You like, talked my ear off. Just like what you just had. It was I like, hi, this is the best day of my life. How are you doing? This is the best day of my life. I don't know if all customers are just like <laughs> that. I, we've come to the same location when I came here and then I brought her here now. But how's that lavender? Not as lavender as I was hoping. Oh. You know, it's not very strong. Mm -hmm. But uh, the cold foam on top is delicious. Let's get a close up of this. Oh. <gasps> it's like the perfect thing I needed. I think I can do this coffee thing now. Yeah. Actually, I can. Zach doesn't do coffee. Cold this is so foam. weird. Which way am I going? The heck is that cold way? Foam. Yeah, we have to go that way. Okay. But yes, on to Crescent City, three hours. Just <laughs> kidding, it's only an hour and a half. So we have reached our destination for tonight. We're here in Crescent City, which is right on the coast. It's a really cute little small town that's like at this point on the ocean. It's really, really pretty. And so we're settling here for the night, but at sunset, or near sunset, we're here at the lighthouse that you can like access, you can walk across at low tide. So this is pretty cool. Like at certain points of the day, you can't access this lighthouse. This is actually like really nice. And it smells really good. Like we were, we got out of the car and we are like, Man, it just smells like nature. Like, wow, the Pacific Northwest. Like, we're almost there. We're getting really close. And the sunset is beautiful. There's a foghorn going off over here, and it just like is so soothing to hear the foghorn go off and listen to the waves and watch the whales and watch the sun go down. Ugh. up here 
and I heard saw like a like happen on the water. I was like, no, no, no. And there's a sign that says there's a really good chance of seeing gray whales here from November to April. This is so cool. They're spouting. Oh my gosh. Whales. We found whales. So like the entire time we've been here in California, we've been talking about like, wow, wouldn't it be really cool to see whales? And I just can't believe the place we least expected to find them. Didn't know they existed here. I mean, I'm sure they, I don't know, like just didn't expect it, you know? And we got up here at the perfect time to see a whale spouting. So it's just like, you can't plan these things out, you know? It's just so special. This is really fun. This is a great way to like end this day, you know, like California beauty. We went from the mountains and the forests and the redwood trees and just like the giants that live there, trees, to the ocean. It's just so rocky and beautiful. And then to see the giants that live here in the water, it's just like full circle. So many! Oh my gosh! Coming out. Tail flip? Tail flip! Tail flip! <laughs> tail flip. What happened? The tail came out! You can't write this stuff! We saw a tail! So much fun! I love California! Alright, and that is it for today. California has amazed us yet again. Yet again! Today was just so amazing! I don't, I don't even know. Like the redwoods were what I was excited about. The whales are obviously what Leah is excited about. Well, it's just the unexpected things that happen to you. You know, <laughs> like you just can't plan this stuff out and this lighthouse is gorgeous and this has just been another spectacular day. Oh, the sun is setting. Our snacks were amazing. Our coffee was amazing. <laughs> coffee was really good. Guy at the coffee shop was so happy. Everyone's just so happy to be in California, you know, just like we are. This is actually our last vlog in California, so we are sad to say goodbye to the state, but it has been the state with the most vlogs by far. Yeah. Because there's just so much to see here. The whales are still just like popping up. That's crazy. This place is beautiful. Thanks for watching. That's crazy. Like, you don't know how far it goes up. What if birds live in there? Bats wow. live in there. Bats. Ooh, it's even worse. It's like everything's just. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And we have tons of ferns. Oops. Oh god. Like, look at them. Wow. I'm really terrible at this. This gimbal's heavy. <laughs> Am I shaking? Is that better? Yeah. It feels so good to be like out on the road again. You know, like on the road again. Mm -hmm.